So how's this for the filter? Uh, my child's not home who usually brushes my hair. So um, yeah, this is what I'll be having to deal with until she comes back from her her trip out this summer. Uh, so what am I here to talk about? I don't do these often anymore. I used to, um, but I'm sad and lonely. So y'all just have to deal with me. Uh, what am I sad about? So I'm sad um, because I'm in this crazy place in chronic illness where what I was really hoping was a flare is kind of turning into a new normal and it's brutal and it's um, kind of beyond what I was able to imagine. Like I could imagine what my life would be at a certain point. It seemed unbearable. And then as the water got hotter, it seemed like, okay, I could kind of deal with that. But I never imagined beyond this and um, kind of quickly getting beyond this. And uh, with degenerative diseases, you know, even if it's not a flare, like even if it is a flare, you're eventually going to be there. Um, it's like a preview. You get previews every once in a while, degenerative diseases and illnesses and um, yeah, laughing so don't cry. Uh, when I first got sick, I lost most of my friends um, and it's not their fault. Uh, absolutely not. They're wonderful people who were really busy and I was really busy being sick and I don't think we talk about that enough on how busy being sick is because your day gets smaller. Everyone does not have the same 24 hours. Please kill this myth immediately. We um, who are chronically ill used to have a certain amount of hours we're used to in getting things done. And then all of a sudden it gets dropped down to either nothing or maybe you have two hours of working a day or maybe a three. Uh, maybe you have a really lucky day. You have four hours where you have to get everything done, but you don't know if tomorrow's going to be less or more. So I was really busy being sick because being sick requires doctor's appointments and fasting, which knocks you out, or doctor's appointments, which you have to get to, which knocks you out for a day or two. And they were really busy running their lives, which they were used to, which I was used to running in that same pace. And then I wasn't in that pace anymore. And um, it's lonely. And I still have a few wonderful holdouts. They're wonderful people and I love them but they're also healthy <laughs> and um trying to explain that we can make plans and i get how frustrating it is for them they have no time for socialization and they're wanting to create a few hours that we can catch up and be together but i almost don't want to take that time from them because i remember how frustrating it was when i did that and i was really busy and then people would cancel and i have to explain that there is like a 90 percent chance i will cancel even 10 minutes before I'm supposed to arrive, I could have just tried to get into the car and dislocated my legs. And I don't know what to do about this. I don't know how to explain I'm bad at confrontation anyway. And it's depressing to sit people down who want to catch up and go, hey, before we discuss our whole lives, I would like to explain to you how unreliable I will be for the next lifetime. So I'm just kind of bummed right now. I have someone in my life I love so much and the thing that kills me is whenever I meet with this person I walk away feeling alive again like she just brings out this like spirit of we can save the world and um I miss her energy more than I can express it is uh something I need in my life and I had to cancel because I know she is busy with saving the world. She's actually a superhero who saves the world. She's one of the most impressive humans I've ever met in my life. And I love her. And I don't want to take away her free time because she wants us to get together. And I realized that the chance of me even getting in the car without incredible pain and dislocations is zero right now. I am popping out just moving around my room. And then the idea of sitting there with her and then just breaking out crying because... I shifted one way and my tibia went the other means we probably wouldn't even get to talk anyway, but I miss her and I miss feeling alive and excited and I miss feeling like all the ideas are possible. So that's my rant for today. Thank you for listening. Um, I think that's about it, but we have a podcast. You want to listen to more rants, more discussions with other sick people, just head over to Invisible Not Broken. Um, anywhere you listen to podcasts, we have two new podcasts coming. So keep an eye out for Dion and for Tinu. Thanks so much, everyone. Be kind, be gentle, be a badass.